The New York Institute of Technology in Old Westbury has a vehicle refueling station right on its campus, but no gasoline is involved. Stephanie Powers explains. This car is pulling into the station to get fueled up, but it won't be filled with gasoline. Instead, it's getting an electric charge, and this refueling station gets its electric supply completely from the sun. I think it's important to explore ways that we can include renewable energy into the transportation sector. So this is a, a possible model on how we could use solar energy to actually get miles traveled in a vehicle. This solar carport is located on the campus of the New York Institute of Technology in Old Westbury. And there's another one on the college's campus in Central Islip. All part of a program with LIPA to have a clean energy solutions company called Empower install solar carports to explore the options of renewable energy. The size of this solar canopy is um, enough, uh, produces enough energy annually to power an entire home. School officials say the solar carports recharge the college's plug-in hybrid vehicles, like this Toyota Prius, and NYIT has two of the cars. Faculty at the Mechanical Engineering Department at NYIT say by plugging the charger into the car, it helps to replace petroleum with renewable energy. Well, these Priuses actually have what's called a plug-in conversion kit. So the normal Prius is actually just an internal combustion vehicle, albeit a very uh, efficient one. Um, what the plug-in allows you to do is actually to bring electrical energy externally on board that you could use to actually travel miles. So it gives you the ability to actually um, travel, to travel without using any petroleum at all. It's part of a program to educate the students and the community on how we can become a cleaner nation and they're letting students and faculty try out the cars. We are actually going to institute a drive share program. We're going to start with faculty and staff. And student Alex Dom was among those chosen to take part. Well, it was actually a matter of being at the right place at the right time. I knew Dan Rapka, who's a professor here at NYIT, and I did not have a car at the time. I was working around him. Uh, we got quite acquainted and he offered it to me and here I am now as an ambassador for the car. In Old Westbury, Stephanie Powers, LI News Tonight.